This is Uwe, and in today's video, I want to show you an easy way to implement some dynamic benchmarking in Power BI by utilizing the role playing dimension approach in just five simple steps. If this is the first time you are on the Data Insights YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about all of my new videos. So let's take a look at today's topic. Let's assume the following scenario. We are a company that sells kitchen equipment in several stores in different regions all over Germany. Our company is doing forecasts on revenues and sales volumes three times a year and that forecasts consist of all the actual data for the current year and the planned sales for the remaining months of the year. Using that data, we are now able to analyze our individual stores for all forecast scenarios regarding our main KPIs such as, for example, sales value per order and compare the selected store with each individual store, all stores in a specific city or all stores in an area or region. Our data model indeed is very simple. We have fact tables for our actual and forecast data we have a table to control the forecast scenario, but most important, we have the table shops, which contains all our shops and the cities, states and regions they belong to. What we want to achieve now is the ability to dynamically compare the selected store with any other store or the average sales value per order for all stores in a specific city, state or region. So here's how you can do this. The first step is to duplicate the shops table and make it some kind of role-playing dimension by going to the query editor, duplicate the query, renaming the table, for example, to shops benchmark and load it to the data model. Now you can connect that table to your actual and forecast tables exactly as the table shops is connected. But setting the connection inactive to ensure that the new shops benchmark table will not influence any of your existing measures in the model. You can also hide it from the report view because there isn't any need for the user to see that table. In the next step you are creating some benchmarking versions of your existing measures. In our example we are creating new versions of the measure store actuals which calculates the actual orders and sales and the measure store forecast delivering the forecast data. In our benchmarking versions, we are referencing those measures and use cross filter function to cut the connection from the shops table and use relation function to activate the relationships from the shops benchmark table to our actuals and forecasts just for the scope of this measure. After that, we can drag our new measures to the visual. To control the behavior of our new benchmarking measures, we can now download Hierarchy Slicer from the Office Store. Importing it to Power BI, dragging it to the canvas, and putting our hierarchy fields from the shop's benchmark table into it. Now you are able to select whatever benchmark entity you like to compare it to the selected shop. Last but not least, you can do all the formatting stuff in the formatting pane. Changing colors, changing fonts, changing line styles or whatever you would like to change to get the report formatted like you want. And that's it! I hope this tip was useful for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my next videos. For some additional content, also visit my blog on datainsights.de. The links can be found in the descriptions below. See you next time. Wish you all the best. Bye bye from Hamburg.